concrete jungles, towering skyscrapers, and vast infrastructure, these are the modern marvels that shape our world. Yet, beneath the surface of these imposing structures lies a humble but indispensable material, cement. As we embark on a journey to unravel the secrets of how cement is made, let's first delve into its captivating history and the mastermind behind its invention. But before we spill the beans, do you know the difference between cement and concrete? Let's build the suspense and reveal the answer at the end. The tale of cement's origin harks back to the ancient world. Long before we understood the intricate chemistry behind it, civilizations were using early forms of cement-like materials for their construction needs. However, it was the ancient Romans who made a significant leap forward in the development of cement. In the first century BC, a Roman architect and engineer named Vitruvius described a substance called Pots Rolana. This volcanic ash, mixed with lime, created a remarkably strong binder. Although they didn't comprehend the chemical reactions, the Romans utilized this remarkable material to construct enduring architectural wonders like the Pantheon and the Colosseum. Fast forward to the 19th century, and a British bricklayer named Joseph Askden brought forth a groundbreaking innovation. In 1824, he patented a product he named Portland Cement due to its resemblance to a type of stone quarried on the Isle of Portland. Aston's invention marked the birth of modern cement, characterized by its hydraulic properties and ability to set and harden underwater. Now, let's dive into the mesmerizing process that transforms raw materials into the versatile building block we know as cement. This journey begins with nature's bounties limestone, clay, and minerals. These humble ingredients hold the key to cement's creation. The story commences in limestone quarries and clay pits. Massive machines extract these raw materials, which are then crushed into smaller pieces. The resulting mixture, called raw feed, forms the foundation of cement production. The raw feed is carefully blended to achieve a homogeneous mixture. Proportions are meticulously adjusted to ensure consistency in the final product. After blending, the mixture is ground into a fine powder, a process that demands enormous energy and precision. The powdered mixture is introduced into a rotating kiln, which is often a towering structure. Inside, it faces temperatures exceeding 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. At these scorching temperatures, the mixture undergoes chemical transformations, forming nodules known as clinker. Once the clinker exits the kiln, it's red hot and fragile. It must be cooled rapidly to avoid spontaneous combustion. After cooling, the clinker is ground again, this time into a fine powder or a process known as milling. Before the final product is ready, a small amount of gypsum is added to the clinker. This innocuous-looking mineral serves a crucial role. It regulates the setting time of the cement, ensuring it doesn't harden too quickly. Throughout this intricate journey, rigorous quality control measures are in place. Samples are continuously tested to verify chemical composition, particle size, and other critical parameters. Now, as promised, let's unravel the mystery of the difference between cement and concrete. You see, cement is just one ingredient in the recipe for creating concrete. Concrete is a composite material that consists of cement, water, aggregates, like sand and gravel, and often, additional additives or admixtures. Cement serves as the binding agent that holds the other components together. Imagine concrete as a delicious cake. Cement is the flour. Water is the liquid component. Aggregates are the nuts and chocolate chips, and additives are the secret spices that enhance the flavor. When combined, they create a sturdy and versatile construction material capable of taking on various forms and shapes. Cement, the unsung hero of our built environment, embodies centuries of human ingenuity and craftsmanship. Next time you gaze upon a skyscraper or traverse a bridge, Remember the extraordinary journey of cement that makes it all possible. The unassuming powder in the back holds the promise of boundless possibilities in the world of construction. So, let's celebrate this extraordinary material that unites our cities and propels our civilization forward, one sturdy structure at a time. Cement is the silent foundation beneath our feet. 
and it deserves recognition as a true marvel of human achievement. If you enjoyed this video, watch this next one on how chocolate is made.